and welcome to the Play Property Channel. And what we're looking at here is uh, a new legendary expansion called uh, Dimensions. Um, this one actually uh, kind of surprised me. I actually wasn't uh, expecting this to come in. Um, I just happened to be at my local gaming store, whatever location, picking up some products. And uh, just happened to ask them if they heard when the next legendary stuff item they went, Oh, actually something just came in and they handed me this. So and I was like, oh, okay. So um, I actually don't know anything about this. Uh, so I'm just kind of like looking at this, you know, basically for the first time practically here. Um, so looking at it, um, I'm already thinking I'm liking uh, JJ being on top here. Like I'm thinking like he's, they're probably going to make him a mastermind. They got uh, Man-Thing, Squirrel Girl. Uh, okay, she's not really one of my favorite characters ever. Um, that looks like Jessica Jones. Could be wrong there, but Howard the Duck. That's going to be kind of funny. And I don't know who this character is. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of a little bit worried about that character. Because the character kind of looks like Captain America. Hopefully it's not... I don't know. There's a thing kind of been going on the last couple of years. I've been hearing about these social justice warriors and stuff. Taking characters and just... Flipping the race and the sex up, whatever, but I don't know. We'll find out. But uh, Oh, actually, I should look in the back here. Actually, I haven't really, really read the back yet. Uh, so let's, maybe we should zoom in here so we can all read it together. Not only does this uh, expansion legendary and Marvel deck building game just newly highly anticipated heroes like Squirrel Girl. <laughs> I'm not sure if she's highly anticipated. Uh, Jessica Jones, yep, so it was right there. And Miss America, uh, again, making me worried. Uh, but it also imports fan favorite characters previously released in the trading card game Dimensions, which I've never heard of. I might have to look into that. Like Man Thing and Howard the Duck. And in Up to Empty, we've added the ever irresistible J. Jonah Jameson to our formal collection of masterminds. Yeah, that's going to be cool. I think I'm gonna, definitely going to have to put a Spider Man deck together to play that. Now we're turning keywords like investigate and teleport. Look for new ones like switcheroo, same twist and recruiting heroes. So we got another 100 playable cards, five heroes, two masterminds, two henchmen groups. Cool. I like more henchmen groups, five bystanders, and a rule sheet. <clears throat> so let's open this up and see what we got. Hopefully open this up fast if not I might have to do a jump cut kind of damaging the box here that doesn't matter as I'm going with my regular boxes my bigger boxes all right I finally finished uh, unwrapping this took me actually quite a bit um, so we'll take a quick look at the instruction manual here so we got dimensions uh, Marvel 3D Returns. Once upon a time, the Marvel 3D trading card set contained a hard-to-find legendary card for unique gameplay. Okay, I did not know that. Obtainable only by collectors, now by popular demand after a four-year exclusivity period, those cards are finally available to everyone as part of Legendary Dimensions. Okay, so this is what it, what's going on. Okay. Cards returning from Marvel 3D, the heroes Howard the Duck and Man-Thing, the henchmen Spider Slayers and Circus of Crime, cool, and five special bystanders. The set also includes... Equally quirky, brand new content, uh, Squirrel Girl, Jessica Jones, and Miss America, and double-sided mastermind, J. Johnson Jameson. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so this is kind of across, across the dimensions we're talking about. America Chavez is a cosmic being and literally punches her way through the walls between dimensions. She comes to warn the Avengers of grave approaching dangers. All right, so Miss America, whatever she, or Chavez, okay, maybe she's not quite a social. She looks like she's a totally different type of character. Uh, she's a cosmic being. Okay, well, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. As long as they're not taking other characters and just changing them up just for the sake of it. If they're creating totally new characters, I'm fine with that. So. Um, and things similar size three dimensions areas. Yep. Fan favorite Squirrel Girl. <sighs> I really doubt she's a fan favorite, really. Uh, it's a little bit nuts. Yeah, I can see that. Seemingly unimpressive powers. Yeah, she's definitely. Cult favorite Howard the Duck. Yeah, definitely a cult favorite. 
And then you got the Tycoon J. Jones next, is very likely Mastermind. Okay, so let's look at what we've got. Switch, switcheroo. Steve, we... A uh, keyword represents how heroes like Squirrel Girl and Jessica Jones are particularly switch up their tactics. Sometimes they instantly switch to new fighting stances, while other times they switch in new heroes altogether. Some of you see things like Switcheroo 4. So what does that mean? Uh, this means you reveal the, this card from your hand and put it on the bottom of the hero deck. If you do, you may put a hero from the specified printed cost from the HQ into your hand. Okay, so you can switch stuff up. So when you have a switcheroo card in your hand, you can choose to play it for its normal and other effects, or you can choose permanently swap it for another card on the HQ instead. You switcheroo instead of playing the card, so when you switcheroo, you don't get any stars or fighting for any other effects of the card that you put on the bottom. Uh, remember, you put the switcheroo card on the bottom of the collective hero deck on the board, not your personal deck. Totally find a switcheroo card into a different hero name. When you do it during your turn, you can't switch around to shield officers or sidekicks. Uh, switch around doesn't count as recruiting a hero, so you can't use abilities like wall crawl, soaring flight. Yeah, switch here has a yeah, okay. Investigate this keyword presents hard bitten detectives of Jessica Jones investigating mysteries and searching for evidence and allies. Squirrel Girl has her furry friends investigate for her, while Miss America investigates dimensional disruptions. Investigate first appeared in Legendary Marvel Noir. Which I've actually recently got too, and I haven't done an opening in that yet. Yeah, some cards say things like investigate for a card with an icon. That means look at the top two cards of your deck, reveal a card with a fighting icon from among them, and drop. Put the rest of these cards back at the top and the bottom of your deck in any order. I think you can put it on top or the bottom. Yeah. Other cards here in the Marvel Noir let you investigate for cards with certain costumes, icons, and other traits. You can still decide which cards go back on the top or bottom of your decks. Some of these tell you to investigate entirely different decks. Yeah, teleport. Man thing in Miss America, each teleport must go through different dimensions. The teleport keyword previously appeared on hero cards like Legend of Dark City, Sigil War. Teleport means instead of playing this card, you mean set it aside at the end of the turn, add it to your new hand as an extra card. I kind of like teleport. So there we go. There's a quick look at the instructions. And we'll be right back with a different set part of the expansion. All right, so let's look at the, the five bystanders that come with uh, this expansion. So from what I understand from the instructions, this all comes from a, a 3D card set. Uh, bulldozer driver. Uh, when you rescue this bystander, you may move a villain to an adjacent city space. If another villain is already there, and just swap them. Then we got double agent of shield. When you rescue this bystander, play a copy of one of your uh, shield or hydra allies. Forklift driver. Uh, when you rescue this bystander, put any number of heroes from the HQ on the bottom of the hero deck. Fortune teller. Uh, when you rescue the spice center, guess zero or not zero, then reveal the top card of your deck and check its cost. If you guessed right, draw that card. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. And then we got uh, Photographer. Uh, the spice center is worth uh, uh, plus one for each hero you have that costs seven or more among all your cards at the end of the game. So, uh, extra victory points, basically. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so uh, there you go. There's the five uh, bystanders. Um, and we'll look at the other aspects of this expansion. Anyways, uh, let's look at the masterminds. Now, as boxes, there's two masterminds, but I only found one. And I think they're counting the flip side as an extra mastermind. So I think that's a little bit misleading. But anyways, I'm still happy it's J. Johnson Jameson. Uh, start a game, put two shield officers per player into a face down angry mob stack. Special rules, you can spend four fighting to reveal a random angry mob and put it into any player's discard pile. You can't fight J. Johnson while he has any angry mobs. Always lead spider slayers. Master strike for each player investigates their deck for a card and puts it into the angry mob stack. Investigates your deck. Okay. Let's check out the other side while we're at it.
Uh, so this will be five stars. Start a game. If you still need remodel, special rules, you can spend five instead. You can't fight any general. Always lead Spire Slayers. Each player investigates their deck for a card and puts it in the dang remob stack. If that card costs zero, that player gains a rune. So it's a little bit harder to hit. You can gain an extra rune. Interesting, though. Selena's editorial. To fight each other, player investigates your deck for a non gray hero and puts it into the angry mob stack. Players reveal all the cards they investigated. Insight and Violent Riot. Each player puts a rune from their rune stack into the angry mob stack. Promote Spider Slayer security. Each other player puts a Spider Slayer from their victory pile into the angry mob stack. When a Spider Slayer is revealed from the angry mobs, it enters the city. And that menace Spider Man. Fight each other player reveals their hand and discards a spider hero. If any player cannot, must instead put an on great card from their hand into the angry mob stack. So definitely gonna want to put some Spider Man at least in with that. But alright, so that's J. Johnson Jameson. And we'll look at other aspects of this expansion. Alright, so we're gonna look at the, the henchman from this. Uh, of course this all came from uh, I guess the 3D card set, according to the instruction manual. So we got the Circus of Crime, Henchman Villains. Fight, reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs zero, KO it, otherwise draw it. And then you got Spider Slayers. So this is what JJ Johnson commands. Fight, reveal the top two cards of your deck. Put any that cost two or less into your hand. Put the rest back in any order. Again, that kind of goes along with the Spider-Man decks, right? So, yeah. So those are the henchmen, and we'll look at the heroes in a moment. All right, so now we're looking at the, the playable characters. Um, so we'll look at Howard the Duck here, I guess, first. So we got Howard the Duck, Traveling Companion. Reveal the top card of the bystander deck. If it's a special bystander, rescue it. Otherwise, put it on the bottom of that deck. So that's the most common card. Then we got Rebel Without a Cause. Uh, reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs zero or less and it has no team icon, draw it. That's kind of interesting, no team icon. Oh, did I go buy one there? Uh, sorry, I'm just not familiar with these cards. There we go. Uh, right place, wrong time. That sounds like Howard the Duck, all right. You get plus one for each other hero you play this turn with no team icon. And then Interplanetary Visitor, Howard the Duck. Now we go to the top three cards of your deck, draw one of them, discard one, and KO one. And that's the seven card of Howard the Duck. Howard Duck has always been a kind of a cult thing, whatever. I've always liked Howard. And we got Man Thing. Wasn't really my favorite from the comic book days, but I'm quite familiar with Man Thing though. Form from Ooze. Teleport, get plus two fighting, usable only against villains in the sewers or the mastermind. That's the most common. And you got Burn the Fearful. Choose a villain or mastermind. If there's no other villains, just do it. It gets minus one fighting this turn. Travel the Nexus of Realities. Teleport. You may move a villain to another city space. If another villain is already there, swap them. It's kind of interesting. Three buying, too. Eternity of Solitude. Uh, with the strength icon played first, you get plus one for each empty city space. Oh, that's kind of cool. So that's the man thing. So that's uh, one of the newer ones. I think Howard came from the previous card. Now we get the most anticipated Squirrel Girl. Okay. I may laugh, you know, Squirrel Girl is an okay character, but it's just more of a goofy character. Kind of like speedball, that type of thing. Find tiny friends. Switch a rule three, investigate a card that costs three or less. Mm. 
Nut Punch. Switcheroo 4. Play the sense thing. Uh, you get plus 2 fighting. And it might end up the cough or might not. Uh, squirrel. Uh, squirrel. What does it say? Squirrel. Guillotine. Switch root five, you get plus two if at least two cards have entered the HQ this turn. Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. You may choose a number from one to five, a hero in your hand, gain switch root for that number. Uh, two instincts, whatever, you may choose a number from one to eight instead. Yeah, I'm too terrible, Squirrel. <sighs> I mean, I almost dissipated for mine for my decks, but yeah, it'll be an interesting anyway. Something different. Yeah, Jessica Jones, Ultra Eagle, Switcheroo Four. I think Jessica Jones was actually made after the character was made after I stopped collecting comics, but I actually like her anyways. I definitely like the Netflix series. Card, investigate for a card with a fighting icon, switch your five. Crack the case, Jessica Jones, switch your six. Investigate for a card with a, uh, with a crude icon, you may draw that card or KO it. Uncover hidden evil. Uh, if a covert, investigate the villain deck for a villain. You may put it into your victory pile and do its fight effect. Otherwise, put it back on top or bottom of that deck. Interesting. That's an interesting card. Now, Miss America. Star power. Again, I think this is fine. I think this is fine. I don't think this is a social justice thing. I think this is fine. Uh, teleport. Strength, you get plus two. Because it's a different character. Taking a character and kind of redoing it, but. Uh, search parallel dimensions, Miss America. Investigate for an Avenger card and teleport that card. I choose an Avenger. Hmm. Oh, yeah, she is, too. Didn't even notice that there are actually Squirrel Girls in Avenger, too. Wow. That surprises me. Squirrel Girl came in Avenger. Well, I guess you always got to have those kind of weak Avenger characters. I mean,. I mean, you always got, like, the Hulk, Thor, Hercules, and stuff like that. I mean, then you always got the people like Hawkeye, Black Knight, Captain America, I guess, and maybe Squirrel. I guess it counts for the weaker Avengers. And then kick a hole in reality. Strength first, reveal the top card of your deck, kill it, or teleport it. Hyper Cosmic Awareness. And you get plus one fighting for each other card in your hand. Interesting. So there you go. So those are the heroes. And uh, yeah, so you got Howard the Duck, Man Thing, Squirrel Girl, Jessica Jones, and Miss America. Definitely, uh, definitely glad for Howard the Duck, Man Thing, Jessica Jones, Squirrel Girl will be kind of interesting to play. Miss America, again, one of those characters I actually don't know, but she seems to be okay. I'll probably use her. But uh, the main ones here, I think, are going to be... I have to say, however, the Duck Jessica Jones are my two favorite ones from here. I think I'm probably going to use the most. Man-Thing, kind of third. And her, just because I don't know her. And Squirrel Girl, I think. But anyway, so this is uh, the expansion. So, uh, yeah, then I'll, you know, do more of these videos here in the future. I've got a lot more openings to do. So, uh, until then, uh, play properly.